Hey guys, Britt Gardner is here, and she's here to talk about uh, March for Science. So you've been on my show three different times, and you talked about three different things, but this one is in correlation with your last interview, which is about science, and this one is also about science. Indeed, because science is totally awesome, right? Right. So we are having a March for Science tomorrow, and it is not just we, it's actually international um, happening uh, in Washington DC is where the main one is planned but there's more than 500 marches happening internationally um, on Saturday as well and Missoula is one of the towns that is going to have one of these marches. Um, and w what can people expect where do people meet to be a part of this march? Yeah, so we are going to be starting off with a rally at Callis, uh, uh, Callis Karis, Karis Park um, at 1 p.m. tomorrow on Saturday, um, and that's around the amphitheater, and we're going to have a bunch of scientists and different speakers from the community um, read thank you letters uh, to scientists and kind of just all get pumped up and then start the actual march, the walk, around 2 p.m. Right, and um, where, what is the trail of the march? The March Trail, yes, so from Karis Park we're going to go along that north uh, riverfront uh, path, that trail, and then go across the Orange Street Bridge, come down off the Kim Williams Trail, um, and then end right back going to the loop over uh, the Higgins Street Bridge to Karis Park. Um, however, people are welcome to get off at any point, and we're going to have people along the way to help those who might need assistance onto the bridge, off of the bridge, et cetera. Right. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to kind of throw a little uh, quote out there. Um, there's a quote I heard um, strangely from a comedian. Uh, I think Ricky Gervais said this. And he oh, said is that if, there's, uh, uh, if there ever was like a giant reset button, science would always find a way to um, come back. Yeah, I but, think that's because science is simply asking questions. And what's more simple and what's more part of the human condition than being curious mm -hmm. and asking questions. So regardless of a reset, um, I think we'll always be curious and we'll always want to celebrate the unknown and kind of reaching it, especially together. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it's so interesting because, you know, like, um, you know, you have all these interesting facts and like even like um, Stephen Hawking hasn't never won a Nobel Prize. Yeah, which is a crime against humanity. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, Nobel or not Nobel, I mean, there's things happening every day, even on the local level, that are that are so amazing that might never get rewarded because science kind of isn't about the reward. The reward is the knowledge. So yeah. there are funny discrepancies like that, but I think that he would even probably agree that nothing he's yeah. done has been for the prize. Right, yeah, yeah, you, you, you do it for the the forward of mankind. Totally. A Nobel Prize is kind of like one of those things that uh, a lot of people just want but don't know why they want. Yeah, I think that's actually a really cool way to put it. That's exactly how it is. Yeah, where science is really um, the quest for for knowing mm -hmm. whether it's the answer you wanted or not. I mean, some people like, I mean, like the knowledge of science is like, it's, it is its own reward. It's like, you know, I don't understand why this okay. uh, particular uh, uh, um, bowl of water is warmer than the other ones without the one that's direct sunlight. Oh, UV light. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes we don't know mechanism. That's the thing about science is that sometimes we find these unbelievable things, but we don't know why. And that's okay, that's just the next question, yeah. right? So who of the speakers that are gonna be speaking at the amphitheater at Karis Park at 1 p.m. tomorrow, Nailed April it. 22nd, <laughs> are you most excited for? Um, I'm most excited to read uh, both the letters we have from politicians, so we have uh, letters from uh, Montana State politicians, and also um, I'm excited to read the thank you letters. So we've been collecting uh, thank you letters from uh, K-12 students and college students just saying, you know, thank a scientist or, you know, why do you think science is awesome? And I am honestly looking forward to those because I think that that is, is what's most exciting is to see the the range of, of thoughts and appreciation yeah. in our community. Yeah, the, the, the thing that science has always kind of done for me is like it always gives you that thought where it's like, huh, I never thought of it that way. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> it's always good to, to squash your own status quo. At least that's how I feel. You know, I always like, I'm like, prove me wrong. Like yeah. that's one of the coolest feelings ever if you accept it as being 
Awesome. And right? science is one of those things that, you know, like, you know, you know, like can sometimes many people use it as a way to be like, oh, the world's coming to an end, you know, we should not do this, we should not do that. But a lot of times when people come to their uh, the revelation of their own, it's just right. like they feel better about it for oh, some reason. Yeah. It's like a it's like an epiphany in a way. Right. And I think that that knowing something or knowing so how something works is in its own sense um, peaceful, right? There, there is a there is a peace there and an understanding that comes from um, knowing why the things around you are the way they are. There's nothing more stressful than than being in a situation where everything's foreign. You don't know how it works. You don't know which way is left or right. And science is the way that we make that situation calmer by explaining the what's and sometimes even the hows. All right. So uh, once again. Uh Let's. Uh, where can people find more information, and where and where can people meet up? Yeah, awesome question. So again, this is happening tomorrow on Saturday, the twenty second, um, and we're going to start off at Karis Park Amphitheater at one. The march will be at about two p.m. You can find more information at the Missoula March for Science uh, event page on Facebook. Um, or you can certainly reach out to uh, to any of those that you've seen posting about it. Uh, we're all happy to uh, to discuss it. Well, thanks, Britt. Thank you so much, and we hope to see <laughs> all you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful weekend.